It says, when he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him saying, have thou nothing to do with, well, you know what? Let me go back. Mm -hmm. Let me go back just to build it up. Okay. All right. Verse seven. And they took counsel and brought with them the pot is filled to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then what was then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value, and gave them for the pot is filled as the Lord appointed me. And Yahweh Shai stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou king of the Jews? And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? Because remember, now they let him, they let the Lord before Pontius Pilate. Because they didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to uh, be charged for putting him to death. Right. Because te technically he didn't do no, he didn't commit no sin. Right. That they made. So they were trying to be crafty. So they, they said they brought him to the, the so-called white man. So that he, that, you know, seeking judgment for, for him to put him to death. Mm -hmm. right. Which is the so-called devil. All right. And then verse 13. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him never, to never a word. <coughs> and so much that the governor marveled greatly. In other words, Yahweh Shai didn't say nothing. He kept his peace. Now at the feast, the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas or Yahweh Shai, which is called the anointed Mashiach? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. Meaning what? His own people, those wicked ass niggas, the, the, the chief priests. Mm -hmm. The same ones that are in these churches today talking about this Easter shit. That's right. You know, which knowingly, <coughs> knowingly yeah. it's a pagan uh, custom that they follow. Right. To release, to release one and keep the other. You see? And also it's talking about these phony niggas calling themselves Israelites. Yeah. That they, 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 they sold out. They took that, that Judas purse, just like Judas did. And they they have been set up by the Illuminati, by the Rosicrucians, you know, to to teach lies against against the Most High, against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and to captivate these simple Israelites out there to follow them. Yeah, that's right. It says, verse 19, when he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him saying, "Have thou nothing?" To do with that just man, who have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Yahweh Shai. The governor. It's like, it's like it because what they were doing is they were keeping a, a pagan festival um, known as basically the, uh, the, the Zagmug Festival. And this pagan festival, matter of fact, I'm going to read a little bit about it. What this brother is reading in the scriptures, these niggas were taking Babylonian customs and they were incorporating them into the uh, traditions in the scriptures, like the Passover, being one of the major ones, so to speak, the Passover. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to read something from this book called 4,000 Years of Christmas. I don't know if the camera can fully get it, but we can add it. It'll yeah. be added in later. This is uh, page, uh, page 29. It says, uh, there were other deeds which Europe still repeats during these holidays. Although the ancient meaning meanings have been lost, the buildings of bonfires in which a special wooden image of Marduk, Marduk's opponent is buried, and the custom of exchanging visits and gifts. This was Zagmug Festival. Now, Zagmug is a Mesopotamian festival celebrated around the vernal equinox. So what time are we in now? In the springtime. Um, time of the vernal equinox. And, that, and that's when the Passover is. Yep. yep. Zagmug is a Mesopotamian festival celebrated around the vernal equinox, which literally means the beginning of the year. 
it celebrates the triumph of Marduk, the patron deity of Babylon. Now it says, this Zagmuk festival, another which both Persians and Babylonians celebrated, was called the Sakaia. <coughs> At this time, the masters and slaves exchanged places. The slaves commanded, the masters obeyed. One slave was chosen to be head of the household, and everyone paid him paid homage to him. The king's household celebrated on a larger and more intense scale, naturally, for the king stood for the nation. Two criminals who had been condemned to death were selected. One was set free, the other was dressed in royal clothes and constituted the make-believe king. The people paid him a mock homage, indulged his every whim, but at last they stripped him, scourged him, and led him away to be crucified, hanged, or beheaded. So that's right. that right there. Right, so that's, yeah, that's it. That's what they were, that's the custom that they were doing. So that's the custom that, that uh, Pontus is, is referring to. And so, and, and when you read on, you're gonna find out that they wanted, they, they wanted to release Barabbas, right? But now this is uh, Pilate's wife, because the Lord had visited her in dreams. It's terrorizing her. So that's why she said, I have nothing to do with that just man, right? Okay, so now, now verse uh, 20. It says, but the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Yahweh Shai, which they was being wicked as hell. Just like today, you got the leaders, the so-called leaders of Israel today is wicked as hell, man. They persuade, basically they persuading you into not taking Yahweh Shai again. That's right. But when they tell you, oh, don't, don't listen to them, them brothers in GMS, you know, uh, uh, Tahar and all them guys, they, they going off or whatever, don't, don't listen to them, don't follow them. Basically, they doing the same thing they were doing back then. Yep. Only thing we did was teach you to, 